abuse. I think it's important that your father shows you what that is and what it looks like. In this world right now, there's a controversy going on with one of hip hop's moguls, Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Diddy. What? I have a question. Yeah. What do you want to be on? Like TikTok, YouTube? No. I just want to have a serious conversation with you. Okay. And that's what this is, what this is pretty much about. Because you guys are going to get older and you're going to you're going to date eventually. You're going to go on to get married. And I need for y'all to know what manipulative <laughs> behavior looks like. Uh, what it sounds like. I think, but more importantly, I need y'all to know what a domestic violence relationship looks like. I need y'all to really understand why it is important for me to show y'all right now instead of y'all going out and experiencing it in the world on y'all own. So let's get into it. We about to check out Diddy physically abusing his so-called lover at the time. Daddy, I don't know how to say that. Diddy? Diddy. Diddy. And um, we're gonna check out his apology video because that's why we're here. I'm here with my daughters. They never seen this video. They're not allowed to even really go on social media at all. This is me just introducing them to what it looks like. It really took me time to kind of like grasp the concept of showing them this. I think it's important that we as men, we as, we as women, you know, show our daughters what it looks like to go through this type of treatment from a guy, right? And and that it isn't okay. With all that being said, um, let's get their raw emotion and their raw reaction to, you know, a physical altercation between a man and a woman. The video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March, 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day reference actions that seem to match those seen in this video. Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can be seen throwing an object in her direction. Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs for comment. So I'm gonna end that video right there. You guys tell me how you feel watching that. Like, how do you feel watching it? Well, what did the girl do? Nothing. You ask yourself, what did the girl do, huh? Yes. Um, she's well, she's his girlfriend, longtime girlfriend, for however many years, and apparently, she's been suffering from beatings from this guy, right? And Allegedly, this has been going on for for years. Um, as young as you are, you you're asking, "What did the girl do?" I don't think there's anything a woman doing um, requires this type of abuse from any man. I, I don't I don't care what it is. So I'm not asking myself, "What did she do?" That's not even a question. If you guys come to me and say, dad, um, there's this boy, there's this man that's been putting his hands on me. That's not what I'm going to ask at all. Um, I'm going to take action. Lord forbid that, you know, I don't do what it is I will want to do that's going to land me in prison for the rest of my life because then you guys are going to be without a father. And I don't think that's what is needed in case of situations like this. How do you feel, Nevaeh? I feel scared because all she was trying to do was be, get away from the abuse mm -hmm. and he came running to come get her and just abuse her more, proving her point that she needed to leave. It's just weird. <coughs> 
a weird person. It's like a what is your what is your emotion? Right? What is your emotion, Legend, when you see stuff like this? Because you haven't seen it before. You ain't seen anybody put their hands on a woman before, have you? No. I would be like sad and mad. Okay. And I want to point out that um, before all of this came to light, this was said. The allegations that are put out there is false. <coughs> it's false. It's just somebody seeking a payday. I did not do any of these awful things that I'm being alleged of doing. That is the guy who you see in this video. He wrote this on his social media that enough is enough. I'm tired of people lying on my name. Do y'all see that video being as, as, as being a lie? Right? That is the truth and the God honest truth. And it's and it's out there for the world to see. I don't approve. I don't like. It makes me very angry when I see stuff like this by somebody who I thought was a prime example of a success story. The prime example of somebody who I can look up to as an online mentor who created these avenues and these businesses that he was able to thrive off of to provide for his family in the long run. And this is the person that we see behind those closed doors. I hate it had to be that woman who went through this situation uh, this is a lesson that I'm able to learn from and I'm able to teach you guys along the way that if you're going through something like this, say something and don't be afraid to step away from that situation. You do any and everything that you can to get yourself away from men like this. You're going to see signs. Don't be afraid to know what that sign is and how it's making you feel to say, you know what, this ain't this ain't right. Because it's not right. I don't give a f what a man tell you. I love you. You know, it was only my first time. Once a person show you their true colors, don't become blind to the fact. Um, this made me sad on, on on multiple reasons because I've witnessed it. My you know, as a kid growing up, and and I've always told myself I would never ever be that guy. And it made me sad for the victims because it's hard to get away from that. You know, once you go through it so much, you become you become your norm. But it's not normal. It's not normal at all. But now we finna sit here and watch his apology video. And I need for y'all to tell me if y'all respect it. If y'all see it to be genuine. Just give me y'all raw emotion. Because this is my first time watching it. And I've always wanted to hear from the abuser himself as to why. You know what I mean? Like why? And what makes you go to this place? Like why would you even put your hands on like, why would you even put your hands on a woman? It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's... We already it's, have nos nosy people like, you know, yeah, uh, it's, TMZ and stuff. If you went to rehab, we would have already knew. Yeah. He um. He did that for a reason. The video, the video is 2016. It's just now, it's just now coming out in 2024. I got a, a few things to say about his apology. One, there's accountability there, right? I mean, me and Avea, we just talked about accountability yesterday. Where, you know, sometimes you just, you just own it, man. Like just own it. Not even sometimes. 99.9% .9 of the time, you own exactly what you do because it takes two to tangle. 
You know, you own your part in the mistake that is made. And he's taking accountability, in which I respect at the end of the day, right? And then you go into uh, to the world and you accept your fate. But what I didn't like about the apology was that he didn't say sorry to the woman who was abused. And that, I, that, I, that is alarming to me. You know, apologize to the women that have gone through this. The wounds that he opened up when they see stuff like this. How do you feel, Nevaeh? You said he's a liar. He is. He looked like he wrote like he wrote out a script mm. and memorized it just to say it. You can see him as, like just the way he's talking. I don't believe it. And since yeah, everything like eyes. everything now that's going on with him, everything just seems like a lie. What about you? How do you feel, Legend? I feel like he should still be arrested. He should be arrested. Oh, and also in the other video, when he was talking about some people are looking for a quick payday, why are you just now taking accountability? Why are you just now taking accountability? You could have said that from the start. You could have said that from the start. When all of this stuff was coming out as alleged and before the evidence and the proof, <coughs> everything was a hoax. People are looking for a quick payday. Well, some people are, but... The real evidence, like I gl I, I glad, I'm glad that you said that because there are people out there, men, women, who do go to the extent of falsely accusing people. And, and those people end up getting thrown in jail, you know, get killed on behalf of, you know, a lie, so to say, and which is very, very wrong. And I totally agree with you on that. This right here is sick because this should have happened in 2016 when you was doing shit like this with this woman. And I'm and I'm disgusted because you say you were in a dark place. There's videos and stuff out there right now that furthermore proves why this this behavior is is very constant and consistent. With not only this woman that we see here in this video, as in Cassie, but other women as well who he's having relations with. This is not good. This is not good. I wanted to show you guys this video um, so y'all know what it looks like. This is not okay. It will never, ever be okay. And you guys should never, ever allow any man, um, any woman to, to put you through this embarrassment. You guys seek help. Um, go to the police. Um, talk to someone. But never, ever be afraid to come out and say what is being done to you behind closed doors, especially if it's and assault. We got to do better as people around this world. We need more love and this is not what love is. So I just wanted you guys to see that Other people are crazy. before you guys go out into this world and you experience it and you and you think it's okay when that shit is never ever okay. But I really appreciate y'all time. Um, y'all can get back to doing what y'all doing. I'm about to finish up on on what's going on here, man. This is apology video is, is, is damaging. I don't even... I don't, I don't get it. I hate the fact that it had to be Diddy. Like, why it had to be him out of all people? I really looked at him as somebody who, damn, I want to be like, for real. You know, when it come to his success. And to see that the person behind that success is this, this shit is, is demoralizing for sure. Dad. Yeah. Can you go back down? Yeah. That video. Oh, it's the apology video. And as you can see, somebody captioned, I knew Diddy was going to claim being at rock bottom as an excuse. It says here, Diddy was 46. <coughs> Diddy was at the top of Forbes list in 2016. It says Diddy was on Bad Boy Reunion Press and Tour Run. See, exactly. That's a fact. Diddy was out and about daily carefree. It's just who Diddy was. <coughs> see, the people going to point it out, man. The people are going to point it out. That's him? That's him again. This says in 2015, Diddy was actually actually sat in front of his underage son, comfortably saying in his relationships, I can promise 25% of your time you're going to feel like I hate it here. Well, now we see what that horrible 25% looks like, how disgusting and sick. Y'all got You guys want to watch this? Yes. 25% of your time, you're going to just like feel like, oh, man, I hate being here. <laughs> oh man, I hate this guy. Oh man, oh man, he cheated on me. He lied on me. Ah, that's 25%. You know what I'm saying? But then there's 75% of 
of I'm going to make you the happiest woman in the whole wide world. I'm going to be there to support your dreams. I'm going to be there to hold you, listen to you. I'm going to be there to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. You know who I am. This is what it is. 25 cent percent, 75 percent. Which deal would you choose? Now, for most of you guys, don't try this at home. Don't try that at home. 25 percent. He said 25 percent. This is what it's going to be. That, that, he still needs to apologize to the woman. The twenty five percent he's talking about is, you think that's the physical abuse part? <laughs> physical that, abuse. Is that what you you think? That's what that is. His or the twenty. Women not giving you what you want at the time. You, you think his twenty five percent is physically a bruising? You know the woman that he's standing next to. Yep. I, I, you can't make this up. You you can't make it up. You can't make this up at all. All right, you guys go, because I'm going to finish out this video. I hate the fact that he didn't apologize to this woman, apologize to the women around the world. Instead, you said, I'm not going to make no excuse, but end up giving excuses as to, you know, you hitting rock bottom. Like, I don't understand, man. Just take accountability and say, I need help. Sean Combs need help. And you can see it in his eyes. This is just not Cassie he did this to. What about the Kim Porters of the world? What about the, you know, the Asian chick that was on podcast after podcast explaining how she went through this as well? Don't give me that I was at rock bottom. I don't want to hear that. Diddy is out of pocket, man. Like this shit, this is not even right, bro. Like this is crazy. This is a video of him saying he was going down that, that hole a while ago. Let's see what this is about. So like in my late 20s, I was going down the road to be the, um, like, in that whole Hall of Fame. In your late and 20s. I went to a friend of mine's funeral, and, you know, they just had these stories and eulogies about, and they kept on just saying he was an asshole. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I don't want that at my eulogy. <laughs> And so, you know, it's just been a, a constant evolution. This comes and I'm off. I'm here, and we here, and... This comes off as very narcissistic. <laughs> this guy is insane. He talking about he don't want that at his eulogy. What the... F what do you think they're going to be saying now? Diddy? What the f*** you think they're going to be saying now? I, like, I don't know what to believe at this point. You just don't know what to believe. We seen, we seen the initial statement. I don't know, man. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I pray Diddy continue to seek the help. Um, I pray he continue to pray morning, noon, and night. You know, pray throughout the bad times in your life. Pray throughout the good times. Um, pray every day. We do make mistakes in this world. And it's a must we learn from them. But th for this to be a, co a, a consistent and constant behavior that you learn. You learn these type of behaviors. We don't come out being murderers. We don't come out being gangbangers. We don't come out being women abusers. Molesters, pedophiles. We don't come out being these type of people. We learn the behavior. He need healing. He need to do some soul searching. And I hope it happens soon. This is not good for him. This is not good for his family. This is not good for his children. And this is not good for anybody standing next to him. This shit. I can't believe this is somebody I looked up to, bro. And not in a worshiping type of way. Just like, I can do that. You know what I mean? Like, when you see success stories, like, you, you, you tell yourself, I can do exactly what that man is doing at that level, and I can go even higher. You know, that's just the type of supreme confidence I have in myself and my ability to be, you know, a success for my family for real, bro. Like this is this is crazy. And Cat Williams said it. He said it the best. All of these uh big
deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't it the matter best. if you Diddy or right. whoever you is. Right. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. All lies and, will and, be and exposed. And anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have nothing on one of these. Amen, amen. Chief. Oh. I'm gonna end that video right there, man. As you can hear, the world is 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 angry at this point when it comes to these type of individuals, and we will never ever know why, right? Even if we get an excuse, even if we get answers as to why, it still doesn't add up to the fact that it should never ever happen. Should no man, should no woman take you to a place where you gotta put your hands on them. You got to verbally assault, you got to verbally abuse, you got to emotionally, you know, physically take somebody through this roller coaster, this embarrassment. Y'all let me know what you think about this Diddy situation. Drop it down in the commentary section below. Let's continue to grow as people. Let's continue to grow as, 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 as a union out here in this world. If we see anybody going through that, y'all speak up. You know what I mean? Y'all take action. And be the person that's, you know, that can possibly save a life. Because although this woman got out of this situation, there's other victims out there that's going through the same thing. And they are afraid to step away from it because they think it's love. They're afraid to say something because of the, of the consequences that may come upon them. You know, with this person being right there in their ear saying, if you say this and if you, you go here and, you know, I'm going to kill you and, you know... They hear those voices in the back of their head, so they stay in that space, right? We got to do our part as individuals to save the life of these women, um, of these men that's going through these, these abuse, that's going through these assaults with these individuals that they go through it with. To the men out there, man, y'all make sure y'all have these conversations with your daughters to make sure that they know what it is when it comes to this type of behavior and the men that they get involved with. All it takes is... For one to have a conversation, man, we can change a lot of this, you know. We can change a lot of it. But I felt it necessary for me to, you know, to experience this moment right now with mine is because they don't know what it is when we talk about it. I mean, we hear about it a lot. They hear about it a lot, right, because we have these conversations, but they don't know what it looks like. So I felt, you know, it was necessary for me to show them what it looks like for a guy to put their hands on a woman. From being hemmed up on the wall to being choked to being dragged, to being hit physically, you know, to being talked to in the wrong matter. We're going to prevent that. Nor will I allow them to experience that shit on their own and behind closed doors. It's the boy fanatic. If you try to do one, I'm going to do two. If you try to do three, I might just do four, maybe even more. I got to go.